Hello everybody, Great Creator here, and today I'm doing my first ever uh, Mock Review Monday. So this is a new series that I'm starting, it'll be on Monday, I will um, do a Mock Review. This will not be a weekly event, but they will always will, will be on a Monday, so every so often there will be a Monday with a Mock Review. Now not all of these are going to be Bionicle Mock Reviews, there will be other Mock Reviews, but for the first little while, they will all be Bionicle Mock Reviews, because that's all I got to review for now. Okay, so now on to mock review number one. Okay, so my first mock review will be of my new self-mock, Jasai. He was a Bionicle character. He exists in the canon universe, and I'm going to go over his backstory first, and then I'll show you the physical mock and how he's built later. So, okay, so Jasai was created thousands of years ago around the same time that the Paraka rebelled against the Shadowed One. Around that time, the Mask of Life was feeling displeased by Umbra, who's obviously the guard of the Mask of Life. So he created it created another servant who was Jasai, who was an elemental master of Protodermis. He wasn't um, a Toa or anything, just an elemental master in general. Anyways, he fought Umbra, but unfortunately lost, even though the Mask of Life favored him. So he went to the surface, and he was still like mentally connected to the Mask of Life, and lived on Void Nui for a while befriended Brutaka and Axon, and that occur that helps later in the storyline when Brutaka takes him to the Rakshi Wars universe and they fight a few wars together for fun. <laughs> um, that will be covered more and they will appear in the Rakshi Wars at some point. And yeah, they return. he returns around the time of the final battle because he feels that the mask has left its uh, resting place, and then he leaves to another universe which is currently in a Bionicle of Stop Motion series itself. I'll let you guess whose that is. Um, yeah, so that's basically all of Jasai's story. I'll go into more detail eventually. So now I'm going to go over my mock physically. So here's the front view and I'm gonna flip around to the back. As you can see, I use a Toometru um, chest piece, like the one that covers the gears right there, upside down, just as a little extra back armor. I got some Chima wing pieces. Uh, pretty cool assembly I made there, I think. Uh, you can just rotate them a bit too, it's pretty cool. His body is just a standard Inika body, like from the Toa Inika, and he uses the regular hip joint too. I'm gonna close up on his legs now. His upper legs use um, two main pieces and are connected by an assortment of other pieces. Uh, the first piece is, it can't, originally came in with robots, I believe, or Technic of some sort, and the other piece right there is a Throbot body. I originally had plans to make a Throbot mock, but decided not to when I built this guy. His lower legs, I believe those pieces just first came in the Baraka, they're the simplest part about him, but they're big enough, so they look good. His head is just Motoro um, Mari, which is, uh, I thought it worked well. His arms are a pretty cool design, I think. Um, I'll bring one up close here, just gotta focus it a bit. There we go, okay. So, uh, it uses a Mata foot as part of it, and um, a Rakshi leg as well. So, the Mata foot has a connector that's got like the pin in one side, and then perpendicular, there's the axle hole. And I've got a Visorak foot attached to that as well. His upper arm is fairly simple, it's just, uh, I believe, a Toa Metru leg, and it's just got a regular hand piece attached to it but it looks rather nice, and it's bulky enough too, so that the character looks um, intimidating. But yeah, he has a Metrotorn armor piece covering his torso, and that's about it. Anyways, so now I'm going to be going over all the pieces that this character uses. Feel free to pause whenever so that you can make this mug yourself if you want. So first of all, I have the arm assembly right here, and now I have the leg assembly, which has quite a few different parts to make it bulkier. And next up we have the torso assembly and the head assembly. Of course, those are all the parts you need there. This character has a total of 64 parts if you're wondering, and here they are all shown. Don't worry, I've just rebuilt this character after taking him apart for this picture, but there's everything he uh, provides us of. So overall, I'm very happy with how this mock turned out, and I'm looking forward to using it in videos. Anyways, um, that's all I have for today, so great creator, over and out. Bye.